Hi, this is Tweek, and welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. Today we're going to make a Harlequin Sun Catcher out of cluster balls that I made with beads. So grab your beads and join us. For this project, the supplies you'll need are beads, colors, shapes, sizes, all up to you. You'll need some wire. You'll need some findings, metal findings, plastic findings. You'll need a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, and you'll need a couple lobster claws, and one at least with a swivel. You will need some wood, two round pieces of floral craft ring, six inches diameter. You'll need some chain, and you'll need some hooks. So let's go. We begin the project with cluster balls. I made these a couple of episodes ago, and if you'd like to see the link to that episode, click here. I made the cluster balls and then I saw in a magazine a sun catcher that was really interesting. They used beads and I thought, oh my gosh, those cluster balls would be great. So I started out by gathering beads that went along with the cluster ball that I wanted to string onto the sun catcher. And I chose this one. It looks like a little kaleidoscope, harlequin colors. I just loved it. So I gathered up various beads that I'd string along the wire at the bottom of the sun catcher, I, I'm gonna put a pendant. And I had different pendants kicking around. I had some that were teardrop shaped, some that were straight line shaped, like an icicle, others that were simply round. But in each case, I start out my sun catcher with a pendant. We need some wire. So I have some gold wire here that I used. It's a Beadalon seven strand wire. And I've got a couple feet of it here, because when I put it in half, that's the length that I'm going for. So we start out by stringing on the pendant. This pendant has a lot of color on it, and that's why I chose the beads I chose to go with. Next, I'm just gonna start stringing beads. I put a little bead on the bottom. That's a little finding, it has some crystals on it. I'm not gonna worry too much right at this moment about it being tight. I'm just gonna string the beads on. I put a little teardrop bead there because next I'm going to put the cluster bead. And I'm going to find a spot where I can push the wire through. I want to make sure I get the holes opposite of each other. And what that little teardrop bead is going to do is kind of make its way and hold its place in the cluster ball. Isn't that pretty? Already so pretty. And then I'm on the other side of that, to hold the cluster ball in place, I'm going to place another teardrop bead, and you could see what happens. Now it's going to sit in place and just look pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm going to keep stringing beads. This is all just mostly glass beads. Some of the plastic beads are every bit as pretty when they get into the sunshine and they reflect lots and lots of color. So it makes this project fun. So I'm holding it up, I'm looking at the length. I'd like it longer. You could stop at any time. This is a sun catcher. You can hang it wherever you wish. And I'm just gonna go, basically, I'm gonna go with the number of beads that I had that matched up with this pendant. Probably the longest part of this project is for me, is picking out the beads and deciding on the design. Now I'm towards the end of my beads here. I'm going to put another little teardrop bead. Now I'm going to put a finding and now I need a crimping bead. So I'm putting the crimping bead through both wires. I'm going to let it rest down on that bead and I'm going to take these two wires, push them back through the crimping bead to make a loop and that will let us hang this sun catcher wherever we'd like to. Okay, I got it through. Let's see if I can grab it. Got it. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the bead, crimping bead down, then decide how much of a loop I want on there. I'm just pulling it down using my finger as a guide. little more. I don't want a huge loop on that end. And then I'm going to crimp that bead. 
my players. That turned out all right. Let's see. And I've got excess here and I'm going to snip that off. We've got our sun catcher perfectly fine and ready to hang up, but I'm going to do another step further. We're going to add a circular base so that I can hang five of these to make my sun catcher. And here's what we did. We took some floral craft ring. It's just a very hard MDF pieces. And I'm going to put two of them together to form the circle that will hold my sun catchers. And the way we did that was we took two of these pieces of craft ring. I'm going to have five sun catchers hanging from this ring. So we had to determine where those holes were going to be drilled into the ring. Then we had to determine on the other side where the three hanging holes were going to be drilled so that we could hang the sun catcher. Then the piece was glued and clamped and left to dry for an hour. Once it was dry, the edges were sanded to make it smoother. Then it was given a coat of paint. In this case, we used gold. The paint was dried and we took these little hooks and screwed them into the drill marks. And those will be the five spots that will hold the sun catchers. And on the flip side, we screwed in three and added some chain. And that will be what holds it all in place. I put a swivel lobster claw on the top so that it can turn a little bit. But this is not going to be an outside hanging, so I just wanted a little bit of motion. The holder is now ready to take the strands. And what I did was I had various pendants and I matched the pendants to the cluster balls I had made and added some beads, just like I demonstrated with the earlier sun catcher. And I made five different strands. They're of different lengths, which I thought that's all right. It's gonna look pretty. To get the Harlequin look, I used many different colors. And what I'm gonna do now is attach these five to these hooks. And when I'm going to do that, each one has a ring on the end. And I'm going to gently open the ring and attach. And it is attached. Good. Let's see how that looks. Just one, but I want to see how it looks. Okay. Pretty. See how nice that's going to be? Let's do the rest. They are of random lengths. A little bit of a twist there. Oops, stand there. Twist back. Done. Next one. <laughs> Pink. Pink is coming next. Oh, see, I'm getting better at it as I go. Here's a pretty red one. This is my favorite. It's got a beautiful pendant. It's very heavy, too. So, so what I'm going to do quickly is to look and see if this is the way I want them on the hanger to make sure I've got everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're hanging at different lengths. See that? Now I'm going to move these two. I don't want the two similar ones next to each other. I want them one apart. So I'm going to move, swap out these two. And very easy to do. I'm just going to move the red one with the green one. And then I think I'll like the, the looks of it a little better. Here we go. I can do this. Boy, anybody can do this. Okay, let's see now. I've got my top hanging up here. Okay, there we go. 
Next, all we have to do is hang it somewhere in the sun to get the most radiance. It's beautiful. And there you have it. All my favorite colors are right here. Oh my gosh, so pretty. If you like what you've seen here, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, gather up some beads and pendants and make something sparkle. It's going to shine in the sun. going to love it. See you again.